for your patient, which is for the partially edentulous. We like to do border molding, which shapes the, the edge of the border in a more custom way. So the patient moves their mouth and they move their muscles, but as they're moving their muscles, we don't want the tray to be in the way or to be moving, because then the denture would be. So we adjust the tray until it's shy of the vestibule so that we can put this custom material in there as the patient's moving, they create a border. And then, so this border is shy of the vestibule at least two millimeters. If it was five or six, this material, the PVS, doesn't work well. It won't hold up for that many millimeters. But two or three, it can add on pretty well. So this material, we use a heavy body and you can use any PVS. If it's a fast set, it's better because then it sets really fast for you. So we're going to place it on the edge of the tray. And you notice I'm placing it on the edge that has, it has the adhesive just on the edge. And I'm placing it on the edge that has any movement of the tissue. So does the tissue move across the front? No, it's just the hard palate. So there's no reason to border mold the hard palate. Then I'm going to place it in the patient's mouth. Because this is a type it on, take a look and make sure you have enough. If you don't have enough somewhere, go ahead and add it right now really quick. And there's two ways to do this in your patient. You could put it on the edge of the tray, or you could put it um, in the patient's mouth and then seat the tray. So either way, you could be capturing the border. Using for the upper, using uh, retractors in the mouth is really nice. Retractors make the tissue a little bit dry and then take the impression you won't have that water issue. So that's very nice in the mouth. Here, we don't have a lot of border molding. I kind of did that because I border molded it a little bit, but essentially you're just gonna have to leave it and let it set up. So, oh, go ahead and stop.